Juliet keeps goats on the farm. So, I wanted to introduce her to the benefits of using fodder shrubs as an animal feed in dairy farming. I'm taking her to meet Juma, a farmer nearby who specializes in growing and feeding Kaliandra. Come on, Caro, join us. And we are in luck because today Juma is with Moses Buloa from ICRAF, the World Agroforestry Center. And they're having a training session for some local farmers. And here we are. This is our farmer, Juliet. And she came to learn about fodder shrubs. One, we have uh, Caliandra, that's a common name. Uh, we have uh, Glericidia, we have Mulberry, we have uh, Sesbania, Lucina, there's uh, several. So Juma, yes. you're specializing in which one? Caliandra. Aha. What is the importance of Caliandra? First uh, is used as feed. I use it in my cows, my dairy goods, and uh, even the chickens. Mm -hmm. I use it uh, to stop soil erosion in my terraces, on my fence, mm -hmm. as a fence. It is also used as a forage to, to bees. It has many uses. I also sell the seeds and it says seedlings. So it's a business for It's you. a business, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like this one, I can get uh, at least about 15 or more thousand Kenya shillings. Out of this? Out of this. Is it good for goats? It's very nice for goats, mm -hmm. especially the dairy goats. Ah, yeah. And you have a dairy. Yes, yeah. and some of them for meat. And, and some yeah. for meat. Yeah, yeah. So Kaliandra is also good for that. Yes, yes. It Moses, is. is that true? Very true. Mm -hmm. Very true. Yeah. Elaborate more. Yeah, uh, you can feed your goat with a half a kilo of Kaliandra per day. It will give you good milk, and if it is for meat, also it will gain weight, of course. So you'll have good quality mutton from your goats. But it's also good to feed uh, your dairy cows on Kaliandra. Mm -hmm. So Kaliandra is good. It's good. Good for goats, even chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Yes. You know, the eggs become more yellow, the yolk. So it fetches good market. It does everything. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Have you, any of you farmers use Kaliandra? Yes. I, okay, tell me, what is the experience? But it is as he have just said. Yes. Because uh, 3 kg of Kaliandra is equivalent to a kg of dairy meal. Mm -hmm. So I go to dairy meal to, for buying dairy meal, uh, not often. Yes. Yeah. Not as and much I, as you not used Not as to. much as I used to. Yes. yes. As, as, I, as such, I save. Ah. Yeah. Lots of saving. <laughs> A lot of saving in that. Okay. <laughs> and remember, Tony. <laughs> yes. When it is dry, the three kgs of Kaliandra is equivalent to two kilos of dairy meal. So for you to consistently feed your cow, use six kilos of fresh Kaliandra per day per cow. Mm -hmm. To meet your cow's daily protein needs, you will need either 3 kilograms of dry Kaliandra or 6 kilograms of fresh Kaliandra. That's the same as feeding 2 kilograms of dairy meal. And you, madam, what do you use Kaliandra for? Me, uh, I use Kaliandra in my fence. Oh, fencing? Uh, because it has a lot of fertility in my nini. It, it helps with the soil fertility. Yeah. Let us learn how to plant Kaliandra from the seed bed. Why shall not? we do that, Moses? Yes, we shall. Let's go. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Okay, as we could find out about planting, back on Juliet's farm, the Shamba Shape Up team have sprung into action, improving the goat shed. Putting in a raised floor means the goats won't have to sleep in dirt. If animal housing is poor, with no shade or clean drinking water, all your efforts towards good quality feed will be wasted. Okay, now back on Juma's farm. Let's see how to plant Kaliandra. So first, we, we drill the holes, 10 centimeters between the rows and uh, 5 centimeters from one seed to the other. If you don't have anything to measure, you can use your palm. Mm -hmm. So uh, your palm is uh, 10 centimeters in width and the depth of that um, line should be twice the diameter of the seed. So you will take the seeds that are, you had previously soaked or treated them well and then you start planting. Remember the spacing is uh, 5 centimeters from one seed to the other. Yeah. So you can use your two fingers. So, Juma, can you space them properly? Yeah. Two fingers. 
So after planting, then you, you take a fine, the fine uh, soils that uh, was well mixed with the rhizobia and the uh, compost, and then you cover the seeds. You do watering, watering, and then you cover the bed with mulch. Mm -hmm. So Moses, how long do we wait before we get our caliandra to be oh, like this? It takes two to four months. From there to here. To here. Yes. Good, good, good management. management. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And you can also intercrop caliandra with other crops. So it doesn't compete with the crops for nutrients in the soil. And remember, you need 400 to 500 fodder shrubs to feed one cow all year round.